the Southern Hemisphere will be whinging like mad about that, say it doesn't matter. It does matter, it's a law. Get used to it, get back to where it should be. Well done, Jonathan Kaplan. Stephen Jones, kick for touch, it was a free kick, so New Zealand will have the throw. If you want to know about that... John Afoa is coming on for Naomi Chialata. The degree to which that was not straight, if you transpose that to a line-out, the hooker would throw straight to the scrum guys. half. Ali Williams knocks it down to Tony Woodcock, who was just denied the try. Right there. Cowan, Ali Williams. Martin Williams had to get away quickly. Cowan under pressure, Alan Wynne Jones. New Zealand still have it, even in retreat. Still possession for the All Blacks. Carter. Lee Byrne beats one man. Lee Byrne beats two, beats three. Sets up the ruck. Ball has been won back by New Zealand. Andy Powell goes back, has to be careful with his passing here. There's the strength of Powell, tries the pass. Jamie Roberts scoops up the scraps. Stephen Jones calls for the ball behind Gareth Cooper and Wales once again get the ball away, but it is intense pressure on the Welsh line. Well, Lee Byrne doing tremendously well in the face of three or four All Black as long as defenders. Gap, uh, sorry, attacking defenders, so to speak. Dances out of the way, Woodcock. Two. Oh, it's an obstruction. Please. Eludes McCaw. Well, all there. happened so quickly. I don't think the referee could see anything. Quick take did by that go five? <laughs> New Zealand. Did it go five? Good question. Answer. Mm, forward. Well put in. Well, I think he's given uh, that it, it wasn't straight, Three, actually. Nine. Forward pass to you. Forward, forward pass, pass, yeah. So it did go five, but it uh, wasn't got straight. It. New Zealand having problems with uh, people enforcing the laws. But that is a really telling statistic in Wales. It's amazing, actually, that they're still level because New Zealand would normally have piled something on the scoreboard there. Scrummage goes down again. All the drama at the scrum was on the Welsh goal line. Wales have come away without conceding a point. This time it's their put in. They're tight up against that touchline. They're still under the cosh. So they can't afford to spend much more time in this sort of position because they will crack. Andy Powell gets the ball to Ryan Jones. Jones heading slightly across field, infield, but it's going to be a safety clearance for Stephen Jones. Straight down the middle of the field. It's territory, and then the big red line forms in front of Sitiveni Sivivatu. It's not very comprehensive, this line. Still did the job of tackling the first runner. Ma Nonu feeds Brad Thorne. Brad Thorne takes on Martin Williams. Stay up. Nonu, Rodney Soialo. No hands! New Zealand still in possession. The new prop, John Afoa, sets up the ruck. Carter in field to Mulaina gets back up on his feet. Matthew Reese with the tackle. Mulaina presents for Nonu. Nonu to Kahui. Gareth Cooper gets a boot to it. Forward pass. He should have just, yeah. just kicked it. Should have just kicked it. A boot to the ball pass. might have done the trick, but Gareth Cooper did make the clean pass. pick up. I think Wales are claiming an early tackle. tackle. Well, first it may or may not have been a uh, yeah, first late tackle. First infringement, yep. knock on, oh sorry, forward pass, then the early tackle. Why did he try to pick that up? Why did he just boot it, put his boot to it? It was obviously going to be slowed down in the effort of picking it up. He was on the roll, his players were going forward. I tell you, Williams is there, he would have won the foot race. He should have just put his boot to that. And these small things, what may they count for when we get to 80 minutes?
Well, here we Here's are. a little gallery of uh, New Zealand put-ins for you. It's supposed to go in the middle. No, Hooker doesn't move his feet. No, Hooker doesn't move his feet. No, Hooker doesn't move his feet. And I'm getting bored yeah, now because it's going to happen again. You've got to drive through and work. And that you can look all you and you can you can whinge all you like about this, but that is a law, and that has to be done. And well done, Jonathan Kaplan, because that the hooker isn't even hooking. Well, that's the point, isn't it? The hooker is driving, so they're going for maximum power, and hoping they can get away with the feed. The hooker has to strike, which eases the pressure on Wales. If the hooker doesn't strike, the ball should come out of the other side in the absence of one side going forward. At the back, giving weight. Wales penalised this time, but giving weight. Dan Carter, Lee Halfpenny flaps it in field. Sidonati with a pickup. Still danger for Wales. They cannot clear their lines. Ali Williams tackled by opposite number Ian Evans. Carter, Kevin Mialamo in midfield. Kevin Jenkins tried to take on. No hand. The hooker. Sivivata, that looked a bit forward from Carter. Shanklin makes the tackle on the New Zealand outside half. The Welsh player down just outside the 22, so they're a man down in defence. Joe Rocafoco. Backwards. Here's Sivivata again, the wing suddenly involved all over the place. The strength of Sivivata. Offload to Kahui. Richie McCaw drives on. Another Welsh player down, the Wales. two men down now, two defenders down. Wales down to 13, New Zealand in possession. Carter, Kevin Mialamo, Shane Williams comes in, try for Mahanonu. <laughs> and New Zealand score on the crowd. Let their disapproval be known. Well, it was absolutely inevitable that if Wales continued to be under pressure for that amount of time that they were going to crack, the All Blacks were patient, they were efficient in the end, and they've gone over. The crowd were desperately unhappy about something that happened over there. Is that Lee Byrne? Ian Evans is down, and this is Lee Byrne down. Well, Evans was down for a long time before that, but the crowd were complaining about a rook or tackle that included Lee Byrne. I couldn't see anything. This is Ian Evans coming off, he's turned an ankle. Lee Byrne is still down. Carter safely adds the two points, and New Zealand for the first time in the match are in the lead. Well, the crowd weren't happy about something, I don't know what it was, but really, Wales cannot continue in the vein they were. They've been under pressure all of the second half. Halfpenny coming in, and if you step inwards, you've got to hit the man. You can't go over the top like... Oh, it's Shane Williams, sorry. You can't go over the top like that. But it, it could have come anywhere, really. There was uh, it was before that. I think it might have been the forward pass before that. Well, I don't think it was forward. Stephen Jones restarts. Kevin Mialama waits. We have replacements on the field. Luke Charter.